But for most men, a lot of poncy dressing up isn't really an option, so we have to talk our way into your affections. So we wanted to find out whether it's possible to get someone into bed with a good line in bullshit. So, do chat up lines work? I've carried out quite a lot of research into the psychology of speed dating, and in particular, the chat up lines that seem to work best. And those that, that really encourage people to tick the yes, I'd like to see this person again box were all about getting the other person to open up, talk about themselves in a creative, unusual, and hopefully humorous way. So uh, if you're going to be an, uh, an animal, what animal would you be? If you're going to be a pizza topping, what pizza topping would you be? Pizza? Oh, my God. No, it wouldn't work on me. I mean, really? Well, I should throw up, don't you? You say, well, how dreadful. Because that implies that you, all your life from now on, if you go out with this girl, oh, do you like that? And, oh, I like... and all these dreadful things they put on pizzas, don't they? Pizza should be cheese and tomato. We set our man loose on a bunch of unsuspecting females at a speed dating event to see whether using a load of chat-up lines would make him more or less attractive to women. Hello? Hi. Mary. Yeah. Something Week one. Mary. No chat up lines. The control bit of the experiment. How will our man do when he's just being himself? Yeah. And I live in Chelsea. Excellent. Yeah. You want to have a drink later then, yeah? Yeah. Thank okay. So, at the end of the normal speed dating evening, four dating ticks. Not bad, but perhaps he should quit while he's ahead. Mr. Bombastic. Week two, we send him back, this time armed with a whole arsenal of chat up lines. Okay. Go for it, Tiger. Mr. Loba Loba. I was thinking of something. I was thinking of where the nearest airport is. The nearest airport? Yeah, because my heart's taken off. <laughs> oh, it's. You can see in their eyes immediately hopes are completely dashed because they think, OK, this guy looks quite normal, and then that up line delivered, dashed. How much does a polar bear weigh? I don't know, but it breaks the ice. Come on! What doesn't work are the real kind of classic uh, chat-up lines we've all heard a million times before. Uh, so, um, you know, if I was going to rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. You and I together. Those sorts of things really are not going to work because you're just thinking, this is rehearsed, you know, it, what's this person thinking? Well, I may be no Freddie Flintstone, but I can certainly make your bed wrong. <laughs> you got some lines of <laughs> They don't work, they never work. If anything, they backfire because she's highly suspicious. Oh, man, look at your eyes. Have you got a map? Because I'm getting lost. <laughs> I literally delivered two or three lines to everyone, and um, one is OK, two is weird, three is psychopathic. So, did our wizard of the one-liner light a candle in the hearts? Not really. Every one of them blew him out. Not a single speed dater wanted a date. Anything ever worked for any of you guys? The best chat-up line is certainly... Uh, it, it should be the simple possible one, which doesn't get a yes or no answer. I had a dream about you last night. That's a classic one, isn't it? I had a dream about you last night. And another friend told me of a chat-up line, which was, oh, come on, it'll only take half an hour. Is that a ladder in your stockings or a stairway to heaven? <laughs> best stick to dancing, Brendan. So, next week...